All right, I'm watching a show today on Petra, and they're talking about the, the uh, water supply and where are they going to get all the water to supply this thing way out here in the middle of the desert. So I took a look at this, and I go in, and I'm finding all kinds of anatomical features. But let's go look right here at Petra. So I come down into Petra, and I'm thinking, where are these people going to get water from? And I went up on a mountain, I looked around, but then I decided I'd look over here. I backed out of here, and all of a sudden I see this over here. You see that? See that right there? Whoops. And then let's follow it back up towards Petra. Okay, so you know, I'm going to show you in a minute that red blood is the source of water. Now, look at this red stuff float out of here, and that looks like red sandstone uh, sediments. Okay, you see it? Now let's follow that back up, follow, 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 all the way up to here, and then it goes away. Well, it really doesn't go away. It actually comes up over in here in this area. But what this is, that was an arterial path of water, and it purged out of here the blood that was in the artery, and that comes all the way back up this way. So somewhere in here, they tapped in to this and, and, and drilled right into it. So somewhere in this area, if that was followed, you're going to find that source of water. Or it could even be down here, I don't know. But it is a source of water coming from arterial passageways. Now look, this whole area here is, is covered with some kind of a... Uh, th th there's some kind of a pattern of, of life of some sort here. Now this is not natural, that's not just a natural forms of rock, I don't believe. But, you know, everybody can have their own opinion. However, I believe that that was the source of the water for Petra. So when you see the red blood, it ran out of something, and that something is deep in the ground, and that something is what's called an artesian well, arterial, artesian well. And that's where they got the stuff from Petra. Before you roll your eyes and start laughing, you might as well pay attention to this. This is from Helix Bio Labs. This is a, it's Paleo Labs, Helix Paleo Labs, if you want to look them up. It's, uh, they did three DNA tests, and all three of them were done on the ancient protocol. It took a long time, it took a couple of months to get this done. And if you want to read through the tests, it's on uh, mudfossils.com. There's all kinds of information about this. And it goes down and down and down and down and down. And they did negative controls and they did all the stuff you're supposed to do. And it ends up coming up there all homo sapien, mitochondrial, cytochrome B gene, and mitochondrial D loop and so forth. Now, I don't tend to understand what this all means 100%, but I do understand the word mitochondrial DNA human 100% words. And that's what they said. And it was verified and certified by the lab director for a Helix Biolab. Now, um, Eaton Biolabs always did, also did something in the sequencing. And we also had Jesse Garant do the CAT scans. Absolutely amazing. Hold on one second. All right, as you can see, you have your artery and your vein. Now, you see that? That's a vein valve. And the way that works is when the blood tries to go backwards through the vein, it's already been contaminated, so it won't allow it. So it, it seals the veins off. So in, in mud fossils, we find them completely sealed with blood, and that seal, and the blood is not blue, it's black. In, in, uh, it's FeO2 blood and metals and so forth. And the artery side stays with the red blood. Uh, which is FeO3 blood, and it actually literally are blood cells in here, which are iron-rich red blood, and they are literally sand. They turn into sand, which is just a, 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 a sand. Uh, it's a sandy, uh, uh, and they, you know, they sandstone. Now, that will push right out of here normally because of the compression of the body when you die. So these normally are wide open, and that is the source of water around the world, and that's the source of water at Petra. 
By the way, this is the video. It's called The Mystery of Petra, The Lost City Documentary 2017. And it's by Aerospace Engineering. And they talk about all of the different things that they want to, uh, are mysteries to these people, but they don't understand. The Earth is completely covered with gigantic creatures. I mean, gigantic. I, I, don't, I don't mean to be nasty or shocky or anything, but let me show you what I'm talking about when I say gigantic. Um, Well, I mean, that's a vagina. I mean, I'm sorry, it is what it is. It's a vagina cave. That's a vagina. I mean, it, and that is in the earth. And I can't, I'm sorry, that's exactly what it is. And nobody in their right mind could possibly deny that. And any anatomist will tell you that there is a place that's this right here, this tiny little, tiny, tiny, tiny little line. That crack right there is where the, the, the vegetal seam occurs. And that's where the blastula inverts and becomes the the gut and on when you petrify for some reason I can't tell you why it so it, it cracks that seam back open again and I can actually show you what that seam looks like and here it is right here alright that's it right there see that when you are starting to grow, your your cells grow and grow and they grow in a ball, and then all of a sudden they blip, it goes inside, and it pinches together right there, and that is the seam that opened up. I think they call it the vegetal plate, vegetal warp, whatever you want to call it. And anyway, this is all true. So it's just factual stuff. It's not something that's silly and older guys a nutcase. Plus all this. Wait a minute. Let me show you something else. I'm looking at right here. This is uh. Vein and artery in a meteor. Look at this. You see that? This is a meteor. It's supposed to be the oldest solid material in the solar system. Whoops. <laughs> see? Oldest solid material in the solar system. It's a vein. It's a vein and an artery inside of meteors. They all have them. All the veins and arteries are in the meteors, too. And Comet 67P is 100% organic, and NASA agrees, but they just can't bring themselves to say that it's a tendon emphasis which it is and I have a video on that so it's all real no lies no baloney laugh roll your eyes have a nice time go on to Mud Fossil University on YouTube okay Mud Fossil University on YouTube or go on Mud Fossil Original Research Group on Facebook and then I also have Science Theory Challenge, which they need to be challenged. And then there's one for the soul, which is Mud Fossil Revelations. All right, that's all I got to say. I hope you find some uh, interest in this because uh, it's not just silly speculation or curiosity. It has very, very, very deep meaning. To me, anyway.